their cans. Yeah, get down, get down, get down. What's going on guys? Thank you for joining me on another video. I've got a special one for you today. I just picked up some duck mounts from last season and I wanna show you guys how they turned out. But first, I wanna go back to last season, jump into the hunts and show you when and where I harvested these birds. So today we're gonna to be looking at the canvas back that we shot last season. I just picked them up from the taxidermist. Let's jump into the hunt. Good morning y'all. Welcome back to another duck hunting video. Uh, season's winding down here in Maryland. We got 10 days left, so Brady and I are out trying the river today, going for geese and divers. Uh, there's been some cans and bluebills around. As always, there's buffies and some ruddy ducks, but really hoping to get on some cans or bluebills. Geese will be a nice bonus. We got two dozen goose decoys out and probably five or six dozen duck decoys. Um, so we're a couple minutes until shooting light. We got a uh, pretty stiff uh, west wind. It's supposed to switch to northwest, going about um, you know eight to 12 miles an hour. So we're hoping it switches more out of the north. Right now, it's right in our face. So uh, if it switches more out of the north, those birds will be able to decoy a little better. But we're loaded up. We're in the A-frame blind today, uh, sitting right on the edge of the river uh, on the beach. So hopefully birds will be flying shortly and we'll get some good action for you. They're cans. Yeah, get down, get down, get down. I got to try and go get that one. Okay. Come with me. Or get the boat. I think I got him. Is it a Drake? Yeah. It's a can, right? It's a, can. it's a canvas back? Sweet. Great can. Can you come pick me up? I took on some water. They did, if they would have set, they were trying to set over the geese. I wonder if they were going to circle or not. They might have, but. He's a stud. Is he? Holy we crap. Somebody, we broke his wing. I don't know if that is fixable. I would mount him. But he, he's a stud. I, that was literally my last shell I, I shot him. Here you go. We set that. Oh, you what? Holy what crap, that is a stud. I think it was two drakes and a hen. It was. Dude, that is awesome, dude. Dude, let's go. We got one. Well, guys, we just shot what duck hunters dream of. We had three cans come by us and we knocked down a drake. They were a little far, uh, but we had to take the shot. I mean, they were probably 25, 30 yards, but they were getting it. And luckily one of us poked out and we got this stud drake canvas back. He's in beautiful condition. He might be going to the taxidermist, but absolute stud drake canvas back. That's, that's what we come out here for. We're on, you know, a tributary of the Chesapeake Bay and we just shot a king of the Chesapeake, as they call him. So we're hoping we can shoot a few more. We had a big lull uh, where not a lot was flying, but we're hoping once once maybe the sun gets up, these clouds break up, or it just gets later in the morning, uh, we get some more birds to fly. There wasn't really a big flight this morning, and it always seems at this spot about mid-morning or midday, you get some to fly around. So super stoked about this bull, bull canvas back. All right, well, here it is. Uh, I could not wait to get this bird back and it turned out fantastic. So uh, I take my mounts to Charlie Fagan uh, with Fagan's Taxidermy. He's in Southern Anne Arundel County in Edgewater, Maryland. If you guys are in the general area and close to him, I highly recommend going to him. I think he's hands down probably the best taxidermist in our general area um, and probably one of the best that you're gonna find anywhere. Charlie does my mounts. This is one that turned out absolutely fantastic. I wanted a flying mount just because that's how the bird came in and it looks great. I mean, the attention to detail with this is astounding. Um, I've always wanted to mount a Drake canvas back just because growing up on the Chesapeake Bay, duck hunting on the Chesapeake Bay, this is the king of the ducks. Uh, you know, every waterfowler wants to harvest 
a bull, drake, king, canvas back. And uh, I've got one last season. It's not the first one that I've shot, but the past few years, it hasn't been that cold. So we haven't had a lot of these birds around. But when we got one last season down on the river, I knew that I wanted to mount it. So dropped them off then and uh, just recently picked them up. So wanted to show you guys how it turned out and it looks great. Um, I'm very happy with it. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you like the mount? I mean, the detail, the color, everything about it just looks amazing. I, I couldn't have been more happy. And another thing that's really cool is that when Fagan does his mounts, he goes out and picks up driftwood from the bay that he finds on his own, cuts them to size, and then uses them for his mounts. So I really love the piece that he used here. It looks fantastic. Very excited to have it back. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to go back and show you guys how the mount turned out um, as waterfowlers and on, honestly hunters in general. We always love looking at each other's trophy rooms. So wanted to show off one of my pieces, just got it back. I'm hoping to add to the collection this season, but thank you guys for watching and we'll see y'all on the next video.